Hope Solo hears Zika jeers again as USA beats France. Rio de Janeiro, Hope Solo overcame more merciless taunts from Brazilian soccer fans on Saturday, helping the USA to its second consecutive win at these Olympics despite being consistently jeered with cries of Zika. Solo, 35, in her 200th career appearance for the USA, was targeted every time she touched the ball during the 1-0 victory against France at the Estadio Minairão in Belo Horizonte, in what was expected to be the team's toughest test in Group G of the 12 teams tournament. The crowd's ire emanated from Solo's public comments and social media messages regarding first her reluctance to travel to Brazil and then her decision to pack huge amounts of mosquito repellent due to the Zika virus. Health officials have claimed that Zika causes microcephaly in newborn babies, and Solo has admitted she wishes to have children with husband Jeremy Stevens, a former NFL player. The chance began midway through the USA's 2-0 victory versus New Zealand in its opening game on Wednesday. However, the Americans comfortably controlled possession on that night, meaning Solo was rarely called into action. Things were very different against France ranked number three in the world, as the volume increased through the contest, which was decided by Carly Lloyd's 65th-minute goal. Solo had regular touches in the early stages and was forced into a fine fingertip save on a shot from French captain Wendy Renard in the 17th minute. She did not appear flustered by the crowd noise, but that did not stop the audience from getting louder and louder. With many Olympic athletes having voiced Zika concerns, it is not immediately clear why Solo has been singled out more than any other competitor. I wish people would understand that I did my due diligence before coming to Brazil, Solo told Sports Illustrated. It was a personal decision I had to make alongside my husband and it's not something I just spoke about without getting educated on. However, Former Brazil captain Aileen Pellegrino told USA Today Sports earlier this year she believed Solo was making more of the Zika issue than necessary. Pellegrino attributed Solo's decision to speak out to sour grapes regarding the allocation of the 2016 games, Rio beat out Chicago in the voting. I saw, Solo's, interview and we talked about it, Pellegrino said. I think what is happening here also has to do with the rivalry between Rio and Chicago. Chicago wanted to host the games but it did not get it. During our carnival, Rio was full of Americans, men and women, they did not look at all concerned with Zika. Solo is like that, Pellegrino added. She likes to make comments she likes to be polemic. Polemic or not, Solo remains arguably the finest goalkeeper in the women's game and is one of the most important cogs in the American machine. The U.S. juggernaut rolls on. Lloyd's second-half effort that went in off her shin following fine build-up work from Tobin Heath being the difference between the sides.